guys, uh, today we're going to show you how to make the uh, lawnmower engine into a horizontal shaft so you can use it for a go-kart. Okay, here we go. So I ripped this old janky engine out of a normal 3.5 horsepower lawnmower. Um, it's a Briggs & Stratton 3.5 horse, as I just said. Um, so we're going to start it off by removing the pull start. There we go, that's the pull start off. Okay, so the next thing would be to do would be to remove the uh, housing so we can get access to the piston and everything. So, as you can see here, where I have modified the uh, oil outlet, this um, this one was already here, but this one was here as well, but you have to fill that up. So using a bit of JB Weld, filled that up, let it set, and uh, with this one, there was a hole just about here. And you have to cut a new one there, as you can see, if the camera will focus. Um, and then, that's it for the housing. And so in here, as you can see, um, you have to remove the stock oil flicker, which originally sat on there. After that, you have to create an oil flicker so that when it runs like this, uh, it can get oil all over the crankshaft and everything. So, all I did all I did was get a piece of uh, metal, just thin, about a mil thick bent it round, unbolted the bottom of the uh, piston arm and drilled a hole through the metal, slotted it on, screwed that back on. So the uh, idea is as the engine runs it will come all the way down, pick up the oil and flick it up. For internal modifications, that's it. Get that done. It's optional that you can cut the governor moat, governor off. Um, all you'd have to do is literally just slice it right back of the hole. Oh, actually, another um, modification you have to do. Down here, in this hole, um, there is a little outlet, and you have to block it. So I've used, I've got a little bolt, cut the head off, stuck that in there, and JB welded it on. <coughs> Putting the housing back on. Make sure every uh, bolt you do up, do the opposite ones. There we 
go. It's all back on. So, the next thing is where the uh, fuel can will sit. Um, originally, it would have sat sort of on an angle like that against the engine when it was running flat. Um, but now, we need to run it like that so the fuel goes up. Um, so what I did was, used the original right angle knuckle bit that was connected to the fuel to camp tank there. Um, got a piece of general um, fuel line which is about half inch um, and then next this piece uh, got a three quarter inch piece of tube piece of aluminium line around just a piece like this um, and then I got a socket <clears throat> I got a socket put it in put it in with this cut piece of metal with the vice and then pushed it in whilst I heated the metal uh, they allowed it to expand and then slot right onto the original spot because we had to move it out because of there is a bolt right here this piece of metal I think I might change but originally it was uh, on these three bolts and came out to about here and that is where it bolted on to the fuel tank there so now I can put this on and it will sit on there quite tight um, but not bolted down that's why this is almost spring loaded. Um, yeah. This is one of the builds. Um, I'm building a off-road go-kart out of scaffold tubing or, and various other. This is part of the steering, which you can see if you watch my other video. So, uh, hope you like the video, guys. Subscribe and like for more. Uh, comment down below what you think I should do next. Also, comment if you want to see the go-kart build. Um, as you can see, I've already done a little bit of it, so that's what you missed out on, but we'll see. Thanks.